Hi, this PowerPoint will talk about Excel skills that you're going to need for this week's lab, which is preparing your analysis sample and creating a scatter plot. I suggest that you just uh, listen to the first part of it, and if you already know how to do this stuff, you can skip it, but uh, first bear with me and see if you already know what you're going to need to know. Okay, so uh, to prepare your analysis sample, you're going to need to know how to insert columns and rows, copy and paste a column, sort your data, cut and copy rows to a new worksheet, and label worksheets in an Excel file. So let's go um, through that. Okay, uh, for testing your model visually, you're going to need to know how to create a scatter plot, add a trend line, and format a graph. And that's in a separate PowerPoint. All right, the first thing I want to let you know, which I hope you already know, and I learned from my son because he's of your generation and you guys are much better at this, is that Google is a great teacher. You type in, how do I X, and it tells you how to X. I know that you know that. So I typed in, how do I create a column or insert a column, and I got this. Okay, so this is a great way to, you, everything on that list, you could go back and not even watch me do this because it might be painful, and just look up how to do it. That's perfectly fine. Okay, um, but let's go back and see, um, let me, I'm just going to go through the lab kind of with a uh, sample Excel sheet, and uh, you can just see if you know how to do all this stuff. Okay. So the first thing says insert columns and rows. So let's go to the Excel sheet that I'm working on here. From last lab, you should have something that looks like this. The country name, the Y variable, I'm using life expectancy at birth for health, GDP per capita, and health expenditure. That's something, um, this is a, an example. So what you're going to need to do in lab is create an analysis sample and to do that, uh, you're going to have to get rid of the missing value. So you can see here that Andorra, the tiny country of Andorra, has no data for life expectancy. So I'm going to have to kick them out somehow. Okay, so let me just go back to that PowerPoint and see what I said I was going to do. Because I may be doing this in a little bit of a different order, but I'm going to just do what you're going to need to do. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with... Well, actually, I'm going to start with copying and pasting into a new worksheet. So if I put my cursor here and click, I'm going to get that whole thing. And then it's Control-C, well, copy. Or I could do Edit and Copy. And then I'm going to go down here and add a, sh a new sheet. And so Sheet 1 comes up. I am using a Mac. The computers in the lab are PCs. It's going to be fairly similar. Okay, um, and then I'm going to say, I could say edit and paste, or I can just do control V, which I prefer, and there it is. So it's exactly the same as my original data. Okay, so one of the things that you'll need to do in, in lab is to rename this. I'm just going to double click on that, and I'm going to call this my analysis sample. And then I'm going to need another sheet for my missing countries, so I'm going to call that one missing. All right, so the analysis sample is going to be all the countries that have complete data for uh, my three variables that I need. Um, okay, so actually I don't need this stuff. I'm going to edit. I'm going to delete that. Goodbye. And then I'm going to highlight that whole row and delete that too. Okay, so I highlighted that whole thing, and now I'm going to sort it. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. There's probably a way to do it up in the menu. I'm going to do that. Um, so I'm going to click here and click on Custom Sort. And then if I click Sort By, uh, I have headers. If I click Sort By over here, I have the choice. Okay, so if I sort on any of my measures, it's going to stick all the missing values together and that's what I want. So it has to have that. And let me go ahead and say I'll sort by that, then that, oops, wait, that, and then I'll add one, and then I'll sort by the next thing, and then I'll sort by the next thing. So I'm adding the sorting 
and it's going to be smallest to largest. I don't think it makes a difference, so I'm just going to say OK. Hmm. All right, so down at the bottom here, I'm going to have missing values, I think. Yep, there they are. OK, so starting with Domini Dominica. OK, so what I can do now is I can highlight all of these um, countries that don't have data. I'm going to uh, control X, which is going to delete them, and I'm going to stick them in my missings. Oh, there they are. Okay, and now I want to know what's on top there. So if I take the top row, I'm going to copy that, and I can paste it. So these are things that you'll need to be able to do, copy and paste, and so on. Okay. Alright, so coming back here, oh, I can see I have some more missing. So now I'm going to sort on GDP. So I'm going to highlight everything again. I'm going to go, let's see another way to do it. I can do it from the Data tab. Sort, there it is again. So let me get rid of that one. And I'm going to sort by GDP per capita. Okay, oh, that looks a lot better. And going down, 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 oh, there's some missing. Here's a bunch of countries that are missing GDP per capita. Oh dear, it's kind of a lot of them. All right, so I'm going to copy. Oh no, I'm going to X those, Control X, and add them to my missing. All right, now I do it one more time. I'm going to highlight everybody. I'm going to sort, and I'm going to sort this time on health expenditure. That was my X2 variable. And down at the bottom, I'm going to have some, just a few, missing. Oh, Hong Kong. Hmm. Okay, don't have them. Can't do my analysis on those, so they're gone. All right. There we go. All right, so I have two rows here, so, and that means I have 40 countries that have missing values. That's not too bad. And on the lab, it says how many you can have. If you just have 40, you're going to be fine. All right, so here's my analysis sample. Oops, did I not? Uh, here's another way to do it. I'm going to delete those. Gone. Okay, so I have 174 countries in my sample because the first row is something else. All right, so let's go back to the PowerPoint and see what else I have to do. All right, I inserted rows. I copied and pasted. Well, I'm going to have to do that for a column. I cut and copied rows to a new worksheet. I labeled the worksheets and I sorted. So I did those last three. These are the la labeling of the worksheets down here. All right, so the inserting, there's this weird thing um, for doing a scatter plot where you want to have the thing, well, let me just do it. I want to insert a column here. So I highlight the column. Insert column. Boom, there it is. And then I want to copy this. So I did Control C, Control V. All right, I repeated that. Your lab is going to ask you to do that, and I'll explain why in the next lecture. I'll just say it right now. It's because when you do the scatter plot, the first thing you highlight has to be the x variable. It's very weird, but that's the way it is. Okay, so let's go back to the PowerPoint. I inserted, I copied and pasted. Great. If you can do all those things, you'll be ready for your analysis sample. Uh, that's the first part of the lab. The second part of the lab is going to be to test your model visually, and I have a whole other PowerPoint on that. So this is done. You can look at that PowerPoint next.